And I put one of my grad students on the back of a tow board behind a jet ski, and my student rolls in the water, and as the shark swims by, we can quickly dart a transmitter into its back. So I'm a professor of marine biology, and I'm the director of the Shark Lab here at Cal State Long Beach. Shark Lab's been here since 1969, and has actually been studying shark behavior in California and other places since then. Probably the most interesting questions that we're trying to investigate now is where do sharks go, and why do they go there? So to do that, we're using a variety of new tools. So we use a technique called uh, telemetry. We can use satellite telemetry, we can use acoustic telemetry to track these animals to see where they go. In addition, we're using things like drones to spot them from the air and to survey for them. We're using underwater autonomous robots that we can program to follow sharks around autonomously. And then we're developing things called smart tags. These are cool tag packages that clamp on their dorsal fin like a backpack, and it measures every movement the shark makes 30 times a second. So every time its tail beats or it moves up or down, we can record all that. And then it also has a video logger that points forward. So we basically get to see what the shark sees. So this device clamps onto the shark's fin. We have the robot follow the shark autonomously. And after one to three days, this thing pops off, floats to the surface. We can pick it up, download it, and get all that information. Unfortunately, not all the sharks that we see we can actually catch because sometimes they're too close to the beach. In those cases, we work together with the lifeguards, and I put one of my grad students on the back of a tow board behind a jet ski, and then we have a helicopter tell the jet ski operator where the shark is. The jet ski will pull up in front of the shark, and my student rolls in the water, and as the shark swims by, we can quickly dart a transmitter into its back. So it's kind of cool. It's almost like an earring, right? It's a little piercing. So the shark carries the transmitter with it, and then we have those listening stations all along the coast listening for the sharks. A shark can be detected from about 300 yards away, and each shark transmitter has a unique ID code, so we can record the time, the date, and the ID of the number of the individual as it swims by. So think of this like easy pass on the toll road, right? So this is our way of keeping tabs on the sharks that are moving on the beaches. So by using this technology, we can answer questions like, why do baby white sharks like to hang out off Sunset Beach? And what makes that part of the beach so much more special than, say, off Huntington Beach Pier? So by using this new technology, we're going to be able to answer those questions to give not only scientists the information that we want to know, but lifeguards information about where the shark's hanging out, why are they there, and how can they better advise the public.